Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, everybody, Charles here, and welcome to another great show. Welcome to the show. Now, listen, what are you doing? Sit back, relax. You're going to sit back and enjoy this episode. Now, call a friend. Let them know. We are live right now on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn. You can call a friend and tell them. We want to know where are you watching from, where are you listening from. You can join the chat. All you got to do is just type in some messages. And we'll see it live and we'll put you on the screen. We'll get some information. If you have any questions you want to ask, just type it right into the chat. All right. What are we here for? We're here for a great event that's coming up pretty soon. You don't want to miss it. But I got a co-host that's coming on right now to talk about it. Let's give her a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Samita, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Charles? I'm fantastic. Look, people don't know behind the scenes what we go through just to get these great shows off the hook and get the information out there. But I'm so glad that you're here and we're ready to go. And we got three fantastic ladies in the green room that's going to talk more about the situation and the event that's coming up. So you ready to get started? Yes. I'm All excited. right, so let's go. Let's bring our first guest on to the main panel. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Uh, How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm so glad that you could join us this evening. So I'm going to let you go, and then she's going to ask you some questions, and we're going to get back and find out what's going on. We'll be right back. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, hi, Aziza. Hi. Hi, Shunita. How are you? Hi. So uh, this podcast is regarding women empowerment. So I have a question for you. Uh, like, in, can you share some success stories from women who have benefited from your program? Uh, okay, thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad that uh, Immigrant Women in Business is uh, having another event on women empowerment uh, or um, uh, or uh, ending violence uh, against women and girls on December 8th. Uh, so from success story, if I say, uh, I think I'm one of the beneficiaries of these programs myself. Uh, when I came to Canada in 2017, um, I hardly knew like anything about the uh, what's happening in Toronto, around the city, and how I can find my, um, my passion, which is women empowerment, and I can be empowered to settle in properly, to get a job, to know people. And luckily, I found this network, uh, Svetlana and the IWB members. Uh, when I joined, uh, when I talked about them, and when I um, uh, joined the session, the workshop, or that, the, the, the seminars they had, so I found my my, my girls, my women, my buddies, which are the all the uh, women IWB members, and through that um, I get like uh, uh, I could um, I could I, I I found my network, uh, which I can rely, and uh, they have been inspiring women for me uh, all the way from 2017 up to now. So I think like uh, today, if I I can talk. Uh, with you on this uh, platform is, uh, I think, it's all uh, by the help of IWB uh, found, uh, founding member members and um, CEO Silvian. Thank you. That's great. I know, like she is an angel. I feel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Shmita, so, so uh, can you tell me like about the event? So I think it's that's good to know, like the people should know, like the event is happening on what day, what time, and where. So, yeah, sure, I can help you with that. So this event we are conducting for women empowerment, and which is going to be held on tenth of November. Uh, like so, I think. Uh, sorry, the event is on eighth of November, on Friday. So I would be very excited to meet all these strong women and we can just share thoughts on women empowerment and we can like uh, do the successful of this event. That's great. I'm uh, looking forward to this to this event and I'm sure like uh, alongside with me there will be so many other women that will get benefit of this, this event and to learn about uh, women empowerment, gender equality, how to 
talk how to um, initiate activities to end yes. against uh, women and girls in Canada or even in other local premises, maybe uh, in our city, in our local communities. So, oh um, yeah, right. This is a platform where every woman can share their story, the success stories, and we can guide them with our stories and inspire some of the women. So we actually do have another lady in the background, and she's going to bring the fire and tell you more about it. So please bring her on. Inga, where are you at? Let's go. I'm right here. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure to be here with everyone. It's such an inspiring and uh, a topic that's dear to my heart. Thank you, Sushmita and Aziza, for creating what it's going to uh, look like what it's going to feel like. I just wanted to make a little correction. It's actually December 8th, not November 8th, and it's at five o'clock, um, five to nine thirty. And you know, I will tell you that um, it's so great to see the organizations like IWB creating these resources and uh, um, taking intentional actions that will drive social change on a individual and a community level. I, uh, I believe that everyone should feel safe wherever they are, uh, whether it's at their home or uh, uh, at their workplace or uh, anywhere else. And uh, there will be some great speakers. They will share some resources that can be available to unite communities for people to step out of uh, you know the place where they're afraid to speak up and uh, zone, especially which one the comfort zone we yeah well the that. comfort zone and and break through their fears because yeah. a lot of us even people who aren't um abused or who aren't struggling with uh, violence or feeling safe we all have fears from time to time i mean i'm a ukrainian newcomer and when I came to Ukraine uh, from Ukraine at the young age of 16 years old by myself, I had a fear of being judged. I had it like I needed to change my name to try to sound more Canadian. And uh, I'm just really passionate about it. It's all about community and the kind of networking that um, brings people together to create a new resource to make a social impact and uh, to support women, young girls, and children in this sense. That's great. I would be, I'm like very excited for this event. Yeah, me like too. Me too. Some of the speakers, I mean, all speakers are extraordinary, and they all stand uh, uh, in the belief that no one should be left behind, and that together we can make a difference and uh, they truly not just motivate, they move things forward. Um, and I believe that IWB is a, a really remarkable resource to provide that kind of safety that may be missing, that is missing in the society in some communities. Oh, that's great. So Inga, I have one question for you. Like, yeah. as you said that women face uh, problems and challenges. So the question is regarding that only like, what are the common challenges women face on their journey to empowerment and how they can overcome this, uh, like the challenges? Well, one of the biggest challenges that women face is uh, not believing in themselves, not believing in themselves and uh, uh, not realizing their full potential, whether it is because of uh, um, some history in, uh, in, in their prior experiences, whether it is um, because of their background, maybe some stigma in society that has to do with their backgrounds. Uh, I mean, without getting into too much details, what's happening right now in the world is heart-wrenching. And uh, there are women who are really struggling as a result of oppression. So I would say what really would make a difference is exactly that, these kinds of events where social change can lead to systemic changes. 
and um, where people can feel a sense of belonging, background relatedness, and break through those fears, fears of being judged, fears of uh, um, not being believed to, not just in themselves, but also when they share something, people may dismiss it um, on the ground that uh, they are uh, um, exaggerating or something like this. So when there are people who hear each other's struggles and success stories, that will empower the other ones to look where they can take a new action that will lead to breakthroughs. I totally agree with you and thank you for sharing your thoughts on this. So the one question everybody's going to ask you is, fellas, can we join you guys coming on to this great event happening every Friday, December the 8th? And it's starting at 5 p.m. So make sure you get your tickets early. I put the ticket link in the chat description. So you just have to click on it and get your tickets. But, you know, I got asked all the questions. Chuck, can we go? We want to join. Can we go? Of course you can go. This is for everybody. We want to see every single person there. I mean, brother, sister, mom, father, uncle, everybody needs to show up to this great event because that's what it's all about. It's from learning from each other. That's the key thing people forget. That if we can learn from each other, find out, and networking is networking. I don't care who you are, young and old, networking is key to learn from each other. And that's why it's all about. So earlier in the conversation, you talked about the empowerment and how you started. Just tell everybody the feel when everybody gets together. I think that's the one part that we don't talk about enough because I remember when I first met Savlana and all the ladies that I've interviewed and I haven't seen them because, you know, because of COVID, when you meet everybody, it's like pure hugs pure happiness, pure feeling of seeing each other because, you know, it's a bond, it's a family. Can you guys talk about that? Yes. A lot. Yes, <laughs> go ahead. Just, we're open mic. Just talk okay. about I'll, how I'll, this feeling I'll, is. I'll just start. I, I love what you created, Charles. Um, it's so true. It's not just open, but um, it's an invitation to everyone to come. The more we raise the awareness, um, within people, not just necessarily victims of violence and uh, uh, hostility, um, but people in general, that's, um, that's where the difference can be made. And, you know, you never know who you are going to meet yes. that can impact you in some way. 100%. And I mean, yes, women are powerhouses and they can sure rule the world. And at the same time, without men, it wouldn't be possible. We are uh, like in yang to one another. So it's really important that we all get on the same page. And one more thing I just want to say, when you are at those events, you feel so much love. Yes. And so much belonging and so <laughs> many smiles that even if you're dealing with something or struggling with something, you can't help but step into this energy and this flow of love, support, and uh, difference. A hundred percent. And that, and that's the thing that gravitates to everybody that this is where you need to come. Now, if you're a shy person, now here's the funny thing. If you want to start a business and you're like, Chuck, I've never started a business before. I don't know what to do. This is the place to go. You're going to see everybody, all cultures, all styles, everything. And there's different cultures, different businesses that you say, Hey, can I help? Can I learn from you? And we're open. I've never seen so many people open and say, hey, let's network. You're doing this. We can do this. Let's network together. Real quick, please tell everybody your business right now. Tell them a little bit of snippet about your own personal business. Uh, okay. Uh, I thought, like, uh, I think I, I second on the what Inga said about uh, when you join this session, the feelings that you have, uh, I can add that more than anything else, you feel like a family, dear, like, you feel like you're you're just meeting your sisters, your brothers, uh, or your friends from back home, like uh, uh, where, where maybe uh, like no matter where you come from. So everybody that you meet, you see the in, the, in this event looks like a family for me, especially like I found. I think like I have many sisters uh, at the IW events more than my own sisters that I have like back in Afghanistan. So and um, I think like uh, it's it's. Uh, uh, more important for the for the for the uh, women for the girls that you're alone here so please come please join i'm sure you'll find like 
you, you you'll not miss your family anymore uh, of course you do but more than anything so because you'll be so much love so much care that uh, at least you can for a night or maybe for a week that uh, you feel uh, you feel love and then um that you're with, with a group of people that they love you they care just like your family and uh, that's and I, lo I love how you said that it's another extension of your family because everybody needs business and this is how we work with each other and here's the key thing inga let's talk about your business for a second how does how does it thrive through iwb the networking and everything talk about your your personal brand the prime healthcare talk about it a little bit oh my gosh uh in so many ways i can talk about this for a lot longer than a little bit <laughs> i'll be responsible with time uh you know for starters even today okay uh let me rewind so my business is uh putting people back on their feet after car accidents and i am extremely passionate about being that orchestrator for people to lead them uh through the recovery journey from a to z which is why i have a, a, a multitude of connections with various rehabilitation centers in ontario with various personal injury lawyers from ontario in ontario and i own i'm a ceo and a partner of a, a brick and mortar multidisciplinary facility called prime healthcare um, that exists to uh, transform people's journey when they get hurt in various car accidents, motor vehicle accidents, and other personal injuries. So my passion is healthcare and well-being. And through IWB, I met so many extraordinary people uh, that are doing various things that are not even connected to my line of industry. However, I'll give you an example. There's this one lady I met at the Ukrainian summit, and she is someone who is a community navigator at this company organization uh, called CCSYR, um, which is a, a community organization that provides support for settlements and uh, um, um, integrating immigrants in the society. They have various webinars where they educate people on the resources that are available. It's a huge organization all about impact driven. And uh, as a result of my connection with her, she brought me on board to this organization. So I now get to be someone who can share um, and, and, and uh, um, create a preventative plan for people to know what to do if something happens to them. I led a couple introductions. I became friends with uh, a lot of people through IWB. I hired some people. I'm now a big part of the Ukrainian community. Like, as I said before, I can talk about this forever. <laughs> I've gained so many clients and I'm just so grateful that I'm part of this organization and I get to be uh, part of something uh, where people are up to big things in life. There you go. So what I'm going to ask you guys before we go, I'm going to ask everybody, I'm start with you, Samita. Tell everybody why they need to show up. Give them one reason why they need to show up. Call a friend. It's happening on Friday, December the 8th, 2023. Which hall? Metro Hall. Metro well, Hall. <laughs> what time? 5 p.m. Well, no, no. Let's just change that. It's 4 because we want to get you an hour there early. Get a great seat. Good network. Get there early. Tell everybody, just get there on time. We don't want to make you miss out anything. So make sure you get there on time. Get there early. So, Samit, I'm going to start with you. Give them one reason why they need to come up to this great event. Uh, I think there's not only one reason. There are many reasons to join this event. Especially you will get a chance to meet all these strong women like Svetlana, Inga, Aziza. There are many other women who started the business on their own, so which will inspire you to like come uh, as Inga said, like come out of their comfort zone and you that like motivate them. Like this, this, listening to them, meeting them, listening to their stories, they will like boost you and like will be like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do something in my life. So I feel like and the feeling of belongingness. I totally agree with that. Like when I went for like uh like my first day of the event when I attended, I was so scared. Like I was meeting new people and all were like I was like, oh God, how will I uh, like interact and but I once the event got 
over and when i started talking with everyone i was like oh god i'm not feeling like i'm isolated or i'm alone or something they all were so lovely and welcoming and i just love that so this the main thing is like you will feel the uh, like the feeling uh, like the belongingness feel like you will feel that the welcoming and especially this event will motivate all the women like oh i have to do something in my life and <laughs> together we can like do the empowerment and will beat men's you know <laughs> i love it hey, i'm okay with that because i love i love the word you said the empowerment and that's the thing to go after something and go get it so is it i know you're on mute if you can mute yourself and tell everybody why you think everybody should come up to this great event go ahead uh well i think like the, the one of the most important thing is that you have a platform to share your own story and there are all many many uh women uh, men that ready to listen to your story and uh and the second thing is that you get empowered by any and every member that you made in the in the event and also the third one with me i would say uh will be there everyone should be there to acknowledge uh what has been done in terms of one imp woman empowerment and ending the gender-based violence against women and girls and also how we can start how we can address more of these issues in in our uh, local communities in a broader platforms or maybe at the global level which is uh, a very strange uh, situation situation is now happening everywhere around the world so it's a platform you can you can raise your voice you can share your concern and you can talk about and you can empower others like by you just joining and meeting these new people the the one thing that you really said that was key to me is that you come you learn and you can bring back and share with others you can come you can learn you can bring it to your workplace and say listen this is what we learned can we implement it here this is what we found out we've talked about this stuff i'm feeling uncomfortable hey can we talk about it and that gives you the power to go back and say listen this is what we need to do at our workplace talk to your coworkers talk to your bosses why not so let's do it so inga I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the last word for you. Why should they come out on Friday, December the eighth? Why come out? Tell them. Tell them. Thank you. Uh, everything that ladies listed is gold. I I, I can't even uh, imagine what else to add except I'll say this. My father taught me this valuable lesson in life, and it goes: when life gives you an opportunity, you take it, and then you decide what you want to do with it. So don't miss this opportunity. Your voice matters and you matter. So we look forward to seeing you and are here to support you and be part of your uh, um, communities. Fantastic, and I love that. Your voice matters, that means you matter. Everybody has a voice. It's time to shine, it's time to take out it. And when is it time to do that? On the now, December the 8th. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you get out there. That's when you can shine like a superstar. Come out there, Metro <laughs> Hall. Make sure you get there from 5 to 9 30. But we really wanted you to get four. there from four. Thank you. See, <laughs> get there at four. There we go. Get there early. All right, everyone. I'm so glad that you came out to watch. So glad that you did. Tell a friend. The link is in the description. Push the button. Get your tickets now. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Immigrant Women in Business, IWB, is a non-profit organization bringing together women from over 50 different countries around the globe. These women have now made Canada their home and share a common goal of providing value to their new sisters. Our motto of We Are Strong.